Today, from my bag of Melodyne tricks, providing the DAW with a perfect click track. During live recordings, a click is seldom used. As a result, the time grid and metronome bear no relation to the music. With the help of Melodyne Studio, however, you can create the perfect click track. This is done in five steps. Open the DAW files in Melodyne. In Tempo Assignment Mode, optimize the tempo map drawn by Melodyne. In Tempo Edit Mode, you improve the performance of the band. Export the tempo map as a MIDI file, along with new audio files if necessary. Finally, from the DAW, extract the tempo information from the MIDI file. When performing each of the five steps, you need to pay attention to one or two details. Make sure when you are in the DAW that the start of the various files are sample aligned. This is invariably the case with live recordings. It is only if you have created overdubs that their starts might be staggered. In case of doubt, generate stems. In the standalone implementation of Melodyne, create a new document and drag and drop the DAW tracks onto the ruler, where is of no importance. Melodyne will then detect not only the individual notes, but also the tempo. How long this takes may depend on the number of tracks, and the results might look like this. Melodyne has aligned the ruler in such a way that the first beat of bar 1 falls on the first notes. Now you will generally listen once through to the song in assigned tempo mode. This is where any errors of interpretation can easily be seen and corrected. In the song used here, the click matches the music perfectly, so there's nothing to correct and we can move on to the next step. In edit tempo mode, Make sure any tempo fluctuations in the band's performance are to your liking. You might wish to modify, for all tracks simultaneously, particular changes of tempo. In the process, you will alter the position and length of many notes. Since the content of the recording is now altered, new audio files must be created, and it's with these that you will then be working in the DAW. To prepare for this, define a cycle range encompassing the entire recording, adding, say, two bars as a count-in. Now, from the Export menu, select a format for the tempo map, and Cycle Range Only for the range. Now, open the menu again to export the audio files. Create an individual file for each track, limiting the export, once again, to the cycle range. Finally, return to the DAW to open the tempo map. This can be done either by using a dialog, such as here in Pro Tools, or, as in Logic for example, by opening the MIDI file in a new song. Then drag the tracks exported from Melodyne and drop them so that they start at bar 1. Now the click is in perfect sync with the performance, and you can cut, arrange, synchronize delays, quantize MIDI tracks, and perform similar tasks to the exact beat in each case. Beyond my world.